Hey guys, this is Gatsby with Dave, and today you join me for the finale of Fighter Jet Showdown Season 3, and we are here with the six winners of the six episodes, and of course the two honorable mentions, sticking to the same format as before. So let's go through them and remind you of which planes won which episode. The first, of course, is the F-51 Dominator, which came from Carl, and it did obscenely well. Um, he's submitted quite a few craft in this series, and they all seem to be quite good. This sort of flying wing uh, approach seems to be... A pretty popular and pretty effective approach. So yes, that won episode one. Episode two was won by the MDL F25B N2 Fencer. That came to me from Zwan, um, who, whom I'm sure I'm still pronouncing your name wrong, but still. Um, this is a really good fighter. It's kind of sort of conventional, but um, I don't know, it looks really nice. It's almost sort of Sukhoi, but... Well, I guess more Miggy because it doesn't have the front canards. But yeah, it's really it's a really nice plane. Um, it did really well. And, uh, yeah, uh, episode 3 was won by the P-52 Delta, which came to me from Rex. Now, this was a bit controversial because it had clipped engines, um, and, yeah, clipped engines, it doesn't carry a lot of fuel. Um, so, at the uh, request of many people who watched that episode, I have uh, nerfed it a little bit by, getting, uh, by turning the thrust limiters on these inner engines down to zero, and it will just use its Panthers. Um, so, it'll still have the same aerodynamic uh, capabilities, but it will not have the uh, overpowered amount of thrust. I didn't notice that at the time, but then I did and realized, yeah, that was a little bit unfair. Um, but still, it was an insanely good fighter. It looks beautiful. It's a kind of small, compact fighter that have, has done really well in the past, and hopefully it'll still be able to do very well with just the two engines. It will be go uh, in episode four, um, the FD F-19C Sparrow Dart 1, the only... I think the only single-engine plane to get to the finale this time. Um, I've noticed actually just now that uh, I, I used Vessel Mover to spawn this in, and it's uh, apparently moved the radar back. I think that was a problem before as well, so uh, I'll have to fix that. But yes, obviously this radar would be here. There isn't a hole in this plane. It's just a mod glitch. But yes, this was insanely effective, ridiculously maneuverable, savagely brutal in its fighting, and single-engined. Very impressive. Episode 5 was won by the Dassault Tornade, the uh, first um, actual rendition of a real plane to get to the uh, finale of this series, and it did extremely well. This came to me from Pierre, oh I forgot to mention, and the F-19C came to me from Joel. Um, Yes, the Dassault Tornade came to me uh, from Pierre, and it, well, it did extremely well. It looks beautiful, it's a, you know, real rendition of a plane, and I really like it. Um, the winner of episode 6, the last episode, was uh, the F-65 Thundercracker. This came to me from Emplayro Gaming, and I barely noticed it because it's won its fight so quickly, but um, yeah, it's kind of one of these sort of flying wings, but almost in a Sukhoi way with its raised up cockpit and lowered down intakes and engines, and it is beautiful, compact, and supremely deadly. And now on to the two honorable mentions. Firstly, the Sukhoi Su-27 from the last episode, which actually lost out to the Thundercracker, so it'll get another crack at it. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, and this is an insanely impressive play, not just because it flies just ridiculously well, but because it's done entirely realistically, there is uh, no torque in this. Even the inline cockpit has its torque turned off. Um, its engines don't gimbal because the real Su-27 doesn't have gimbling engines. All of the control surfaces only do what they should. There's no these don't do pitch. Only this does pitch. It is uh, just testament to kind of obs just incredible attention to detail, but still flies amazingly well. This is kind of, yeah, it proves that a really realistic plane can do well. You don't have to go crazy. It doesn't have reaction wheels or anything, and it's just, or oh, you're even gimbal. It's, yeah, really amazing. And, of course, uh, the final honorable mention will be the Spearjet Mark 8E. Now, there might be a little bit of favoritism here, because Jimmy, who made this, uh, oh, shit, yeah, the Su-27, by the way, was made by John. I keep forgetting names. Um, but yes, uh, so the Spearjet Mark 8E um, was, was made by uh, Jimmy, who runs my Discord server. But it's not just that that's getting this in. Firstly, it's an amazing plane, and secondly, it did lose out to the PF-52 Delta, which at the time was overpowered, and I think the Spearjet does deserve another chance. And it is a fantastic plane. It is a three-engine plane. 
And yeah, it's really amazing, and I think it could win, so that's why it's back here today. So yes, those are the eight planes. Let's get them into the air and start fighting. So yes, the first round of the qualifiers for the finale will be between the uh, Fencer and the Dominator. Let's get them into the air and hope they don't crash. Now we're back at the KSC today, of course, as you will have well noticed. Um, I've been doing this competition all over Kerbin and all, uh, a bunch of different bases, um, but I thought for the finale, let's come back to the KSC, back to our roots and just uh, watch it here and also it is a really <laughs> easy place to launch from because <laughs> you can just you know easily bring things back and everything but uh, yeah anyway so the dominator is getting into the air these are actually a very slight up uh, slightly different version than were in the um, in the uh, first episode because uh, Carl actually sent me the wrong, much older version for that, and I thought, you know, I'll be nice, I'll let him put in the proper one for this. Uh, so yeah, that's what these are. Um, and of course, defenses, ooh, firing their missiles first, looks like. That guy hasn't turned very quickly, but his wingman has gotten missiles away. Hopefully uh, everyone will be able to dodge a few, maybe have a bit of a fight, although we've seen some extremely impressive missile kills in, uh, in this competition, so I have gotten less averse to them, they are... <laughs> Really amazing looking um, a lot of the time, especially last episode when like three missiles hit one plane at the same time. It's quite quite amazing. Anyway, a missile misses. <laughs> More like missiles, right? That's like the fifth time I've made that joke in this series. And I will not stop because it's a good joke. It warranted fifths. <laughs> anyway, another missile coming in. Um, will this one miss? It's going for the wingman of this guy, maybe, it looks like. Uh, we're cut closing to gun range, and ooh, that guy does just manage to dodge. Now, of course, these will all be fantastic fighters. Be ooh, this guy gets stripped apart by a missile, as I said that, but uh, they'll all be pretty fantastic fighters since they have had to win three fights to get here. So uh, this will be the best of the best, and we will... No, these are the best. We will find the best of the best. And uh, this guy has had half his plane cut off already by the Dominators. They are truly dominating him, getting on his tail now, lighting him up, and uh, sending him down... To a well, not even watery grave, a, a groundy grave. <laughs> wow, that was that was a nice shot of them uh, just lighting them up. The dominators dominate and knock out the fencer, and the uh, dominators will be going to the semi-final. Let's find out who will be joining them right now. So, of course, the uh, next round will be between the F-19C Sparrow Darts and the P-52 Deltas. Both very small craft, both very deadly. Uh, let's get them into the air. Now, uh, I think these guys only have two guns, whereas these guys have four guns. Um, I do allow four guns in the competition. When it's more than that, I, I usually take some off because it's just a bit much. But I think four guns is okay. Personally, I do prefer aircraft with one gun because it's uh, more realistic to modern fighters. Um, but anyway, uh, yes, it'll be interesting to see who will win. These are both small, very deadly craft, kind of vicious. Um, small craft always seem to be a bit vicious. It's kind of like small dogs. Hmm. Yeah, I prefer big dogs. They're, like, way cuter and you can, like, ruffle them around more. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know why I'm talking about dogs, but, you know, they're just getting a position. I mean, yeah, whatever. Anyway, all right. We are getting to eight kilometers now, though. We can start watching the fight. Stop listening to a madman talk about dogs. And these guys have already turned and are getting their missiles lined up and away. Um, okay, a bit of chaff hit the camera there. Um, I have to say, this has gotten a little less stoppy um, for some reason. Uh, I don't exactly know why. Actually, I'm having some more RAM delivered today, today so that might may help. It might just be a RAM issue, because often when your RAM fills up, it has to stop to keep, you know, uh, cleaning up, every, to garbage clean stuff. Um, because C Sharp is kind of like, it has a garbage cleaner, I think? Um, that's, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, that's, uh, just how they get rid of erroneous memory. Um, oh, ooh, one of these guys goes down, holy shit. I'll stop talking about the, uh, system of, uh, keeping memory clean, and start talking about the system of keep keeping the skies clean of sparrow darts. I would like to see them get into gun range. I think these, uh, could be the superior dogfighters, but it appears, um, that, well, often missiles are a bit luck-based, but uh, these guys really are on the ropes. But now one of the Deltas is in gun range. Will we have a savage fight? This guy shoots the ground out of desperation, and uh, more missiles come in. Maybe everyone is out of missiles now. Ooh, that was so close. But now there is a hail of gunfire from both of the Deltas, and... 
but this guy's avoiding though, he's a small aircraft, he has the advantage there, although they're both pretty small aircraft, but still. But now they're right on his tail, will they be able to miss now? This guy running, will he be able to turn around and take some shots? It looks like, oh Jesus Christ, this is pretty savage. The uh, Deltas line him up, still clearly amazing aircraft, even with the correct amount of engines. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, wow, truly amazing, that was some really nice chases. The last two fights have had some really good, like, chases before the death, that's been, yeah, quite impressive. Um, yeah, well done to Rex. Um, uh, these will be going to the semi-finals to face the F F-51 Dominators. That will be a fight for the ages. But let's move on to the third round of the semi-final now to see who will be... No, the third round of the qualifier to who see who else will be going to the semi-final. So, the third round of the uh, qualifier between the Dassault Tornades and the F-65 Thundercrackers. Some fairly big aircraft. Not the biggest we've seen, but for the final, um, quite big. Uh, versus uh, the uh, small little F-65 Thundercrackers. Um, obviously the uh, real renditions, the conventional aircraft versus the, uh, well, experimental looking thing. Rather nice. It looks a bit like an F-14 with its wings swept back, actually. Um, very slightly. It just kind of reminds me of that looking at it like this. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll get them to their uh, starting position and get them fighting. Now, anyone who loses in the qualifier of this, um, it may seem like, oh, mine didn't do that well, but of course anything that gets to the qualifier of the grand finale has already had to win three fights to get here, so uh, anything in the grand finale is insanely impressive, and uh, anything that gets past the qualifier is just, well, rather amazing. Anyway, missiles away, it looks like they fire pretty much at the same time, the tornades flying in, um, looking... Mm, they're looking okay. I think maybe a little squirrely, um, but uh, everything's looking good. Popping chaff, popping flares, trying to avoid these long-range AMRAM missiles. I think they're just popping chaff, actually. I think BD Armory now can choose which countermeasure it fires. I don't think it could before. Um, anyway, it looks like we might get into gun range quite quickly. Uh, this Dassault may have a problem. A missile is coming right for it, but he just avoids it. <laughs> Very just. But they're getting into gun range now. He may have a bigger problem than missiles. Um, if there is such a problem. Uh, but, ooh, it doesn't look like that guy's been able to get a shot away. The, uh, Tornade is spared, and a missile almost hits the, uh, F-65. One of the Dassaults gets taken out by a missile. Now it is two on one. Shit may be fucked. And a hail of gunfire comes in from one of the F-65s, and appears to have hit the air intake, although that may have been the close encounter to an exploding missile. This guy tries to escape, but gets shot as he turns. The F-65 flies through gloriously. A uh, rather... Ooh, and he gets hit by a missile. Fuck. Uh, a truly amazing aircraft, but nothing for the, uh, for the experimental kind of... Just being able to do anythingness of the F-65s. I kind of thought that might happen. These are exceptionally good aircraft. And I... Mm, maybe the favourite to win the whole competition? Who knows? Anyway, they do have uh, a few more barriers to get there, though. Let's go and see their next barrier in the uh, final round of the qualifier. So here we are, the final round of the qualifier. The two honourable mentions who have only won two fights to get here. Proving themselves to see who is the best, who is worthy to take part in this finale. The Speedjets, of course, um, actually not just designed by Jimmy, as I said. They were designed by a bit of collaboration on the Discord, which is nice to see. The Sukhois, of course, the very realistic aircraft, but will that attention to realism hamper them by not exploiting some of the things you can exploit in KSP? We will see, I guess. Um, it'll be very interesting to see who wins. Twin Engine Fighter versus Tri Engine Fighter, the only Tri Engine Fighter in the finale. We've had many multi engine fighters, even some four engine fighters, I think, but uh, none of them have gotten particularly far. Um, these keep quite a compact frame, of course, which is probably slightly, um, well, slightly to help with that. Anyway, they're getting out to 8 kilometers now. Be interesting to see who wins. I, uh, well, I just love finales of Fighter Jet Showdown because there's just so many good jets. It's rather, rather impressive. Anyway, all right. So, uh, Sukhoi is moving in now. Looks like the spear jets have fired first, have turned far, far quicker um, than both of the Sukhois, although these are in kind of beautiful unison. Look at that. However, it appears one of the uh, spear jets may have exploded. Um, what happened there? Uh, one of its wings has been lopped off. I don't know what happened there. I didn't see it. So I am going to revert and uh, do this again because um, I can't really verify that that wasn't just a glitch. So yes, let's uh, go again and uh, hope that that doesn't happen again. Obviously, if it happens twice, I will uh, 
well, just allowed to happen, but we haven't seen that in the past, so I'm going to call it a glitch. Um, you know, anyway, uh, it would be just a depressing way to <laughs> end the finale, you know. Anyway, well, not to end the finale, but just in the finale. Um, yeah, so it appears what we do know is that Mark 8's turn a little bit quicker than the, uh, than the Sukhoi's. Get their missiles away quickly. Maybe too quickly is the problem. But I guess we'll see. Um, looks like the Sukhoi's aren't in great formation right now, but I think this guy was pointing quite far away, and they are forming up. And uh, I do love how these look from the front. They look really mean. They just look so mean with the, like, turned-out air intakes. Uh, and they pull some great maneuvers, I have to say. Because of the realism, it's not so kind of just flipping around like crazy. It's very... I don't know, it's... Seems realistic, you know? I, I do very much love these, uh, but I love the spear jets too. It will be uh, a murder a murder of loved ones. <laughs> Alright, missiles away. Looks like the Sukhois have gotten some missiles away as well. Nothing has exploded yet. Uh, <laughs> so that's good. Four missiles going for one of the Sukhois, it would appear. Uh, who is now diving low to try desperately, probably, to avoid uh, the missiles because you really, well, don't want to get hit by missiles. You probably didn't know that, but uh, yeah, missiles, they're bad. They'll kill you. They will kill your stupid face. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's uh, get... Ooh, okay, it's hard to tell what's going on. The other Sukhoi's up there. I thought I'd lost them for a second. Most of the missiles miss. They seem to not be very good from long range these days. Um, I think they're starting to hit the ground now. I've heard some explosions of missiles. Now we're diving in close. We might be in gun range. A missile heading right for this guy and right for the Mark 8. One of the Sukhoi is destroyed by a missile. The other Sukhoi avoids another one. Um, I didn't actually fully see that happen, but it looks as if he has been killed by a missile. Now it is two on one. Um, is that a... No, Spearjet even. What am I talking... Oh, wait, no. Sukhoi? Okay, apparently one of the Sukhoi's and one of the spear jets has been destroyed. Now it is one on one. <laughs> I got very confused there. I was the, oh, so the Sukhoi was destroyed by a missile and um, the spear jet. I didn't see the Sukhoi die. I saw the spear jet die. That's what we just saw. Now the Sukhoi is right on the spear jet's tail. Will he be able to get out of there? It looks as if he has evaded him for now and is now on the tail of the Sukhoi. Will he be able to light him up? It looks as if he will. Okay. And there it goes, a big pop of the Sukhoi, and he goes down. A rather good fight. I'm sorry I missed the uh, Sukhoi going down and thought that was it going down. Uh, I just got confused by the vessel switcher. But yes, two missile kills and then a gun kill. Very proficient by the spear jet. It will be going through to the uh, semi-final. Uh, I'll just put that in my little um, little table thing. And yeah, well, that was quite the fight. That was, that was quite impressive. Um, quite confusing, though. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on to the semi-finals. So yes, here we are, the first round of the semi-finals between the F-51X Dominators and the P-52 Deltas. Let's get them into the air. This will be, uh, I'm thinking, an amazing fight. Both of these aircraft are insane. The P-52 Delta are the first aircraft I really think can give the F-51 Dominators run for their money and vice versa. Um, this will be a fight for the ages. This is a much smaller, well, a slightly smaller aircraft. Um, I think they both have four guns, um, and they carry a similar missile payload. Yeah, um, yeah. actually this just uh, doesn't carry sidewinders. Interesting. Alright, so we'll get out to eight kilometers, and then there will be just just a nuclear explosion of awesome, I'm hoping. <laughs> I really hope it is awesome, otherwise, because a lot of the time when you get like a really good fighter, the, the fights are shit because the fighter's so good, you know? <laughs> Um, so, uh, it's hard, yeah, hard to say. This guy doesn't get a missile away, and his wingman, however, does, which is good. We don't want one-sided missiling, because that, that can never be, never be good. But it looks like most of the missiles will miss. Well, like, missiles, right? Ha <laughs> ha! It merited sixths. Sixths? Yeah, sixths. Anyway, <laughs> this guy running from missiles now looks like he has evaded. One missile closing in, but doesn't make contact with the P-52. We can tell that from here. Um, with our advanced putting markers in the air on planes technology, that would be pretty good. I guess heads-up displays do that in fighter jets, right? There's something like that. How advanced are heads-up displays in real fighters? Obviously it varies from fighter to fighter, like the, uh... Anyway, it doesn't matter now, now it's gun time! The PA... Ooh! Ooh, ooh a missile took out one of the P-52s! That is surprising to me, as the Dominator was about to shoot him. So, uh, yeah, now it's two on one, not looking so great for the Delta. Um, 
Another missile coming in for this guy. Will he evade it? It looks like he probably will. Ooh, a little close, though. Um, another one coming in, and he's lost all of his velocity. Gets hit, and now is being lit up. But he did withstand that missile kill. But will he withstand the gunfire? Oh, now he's behind. Will he take the kill? It doesn't look like he will. Maybe his ammo's been destroyed? It has not. He is actually totally okay. That is surprising. And he gets behind, puts some fire onto the F-51, but it is not enough. Now he has to avoid another missile coming in. It's not looking good for this little guy. He is being shot at and avoiding missiles. Ooh, it's looking like he's dead. And, ooh, still not quite dead, but, oh, that, that'll do it. <laughs> he withstood three missiles, though. Pretty impressive. And managed to avoid the guns of the F-51 Dominator. Well, I really did think the P-52 may give may have given this a run for its money. Um, but it seems the, P the F-51 is still quite the supreme aircraft. I will put that in my bracket. Let's go and find out who will have the dubious honor of facing the deadly as fuck F-51X Dominator. In the finale, in, in the finale, in the final of the grand finale. So, the final round of the semi-finals between the Spearjet Mark 8 and the F-65 Thundercrackers. Let's get them into the air to see who will go to the final to face off against the F-51 Dominator. There, if the Spearjet wins this, it will prove, uh, well, it will prove something to the P-52 that it is, uh, just as good as it, maybe even better by getting further in the competition than it. But the F-65 Thundercrackers are no joke. They are a deadly enemy. They are maybe some of the deadliest uh, planes I've ever seen. Uh, in that I rarely see them because their fights are so short. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, it'll be interesting to see. The, uh, the Spearjet is extremely proficient. We saw that in its last fight. In It's just, just, just very kind of stable and proficient and just... Gets the kill done cleanly. But will that be enough? Will it blow itself up with the missile again? You never know. This guy going high, not turning particularly quickly. Looks as if these guys are getting their missiles away first, though. The Thundercrack is lacking a little bit, but finally getting their missiles away. So, right now, uh, it's looking, well, looking pretty even, although these guys have turned much more quickly. This guy heading in right now. Um, extremely fast with the three engines, should have uh, uh, maybe no trouble avoiding the missiles, but I guess we'll see. It looks like his wingman has the problem from the missile currently. And he's having to dive low, but he has enough time to move out of its way. Um, long range missiles tend not to get the kills, it's usually the second volleys which do the real damage. Looks like that guy's fired a couple more missiles going in for the F-65 down there. Um, another missile coming in looking like it's trying to make contact with the spear jet, but misses. Um, a lot of missiles in the air, but not a lot of death in the air. Um, more missiles coming in from the Thundercrackers. One almost clips the uh, Spearjet, but doesn't do it. One of the Thundercrackers goes down, hit by a missile. Now it is two on one. This guy going high, will he be able to bring it back? We haven't seen anyone bring it back from two on one so far, and the gunfire has started. A missile comes in and wipes out the F-65 Thundercracker. Well... They're clearly not that good at dodging missiles, and if they had dodged that missile, these would no doubt have shot it anyway as they were coming in. Wow. Well, these have surprised me a little bit. I, I actually kind of thought the uh, F-65s were going to win. These clearly are very deadly aircraft, extremely fast, and they were there quick enough to put guns to it before the F-65 could have even thought about it while he was still dodging missiles. So, yes. These Spearjet Mark 8s will be going to the final of the finale. Clearly, they have earned their place in the final, coming from uh, coming from uh, honourable mentions right up to uh, contestants to win the competition. Will they have a, Will will they be strong enough? However, will they be good enough to face off against the F-51s? Let's go and find out right now. So, the final of the finale, the competition to see who is the king of kings. Let's kick this off right now. Of course. The fight will be between the F-51X Dominator from Carl and the Spearjet Mark 8E from Jimmy and with collaboration from many people on the Discord. The uh, Spearjet has a little bit to prove, you know. It's uh, it has it did lose that one fight to the uh, P-52, although that was at a point when it was um, overpowered. So yeah, um, if it wasn't for that, this may well not have been the honorable mention. It may have just been here anyway. Um, and it has proved itself uh, to be a supremely good fighter in this uh, in this episode. Uh, the F-51X Dominator, however, is just... Uh, it, is, it is a savage. <laughs> Nothing lasts very long with this. 
Um, but maybe the spear jet will. Maybe it will be able to kill it. Maybe it will just last a little longer than everything else. The turning starts. The dominators turn. Ooh, who will get their missiles away first? The spear jets again get their missiles away first. Clearly they can turn extremely quickly. I think because they look a little bulky, I kind of think they're not maneuverable, but they really, really are. Of course, they do actually have three engines to gimbal with. That is an advantage in not just speed, but maneuverability. Um, so yes, missiles going in now. The spear is diving low to avoid the incoming missiles from the Dominators. Will the Dominators avoid the missiles? Let's go and see. This guy's actually not even being targeted, I don't think. He's coming into gun range. His wingman is doing the dodging for him, but that's, that will leave this guy in a one, a two-on-one situation, which might not be ideal unless the Dominator can get there quickly enough. Um, he's back there firing missiles. Acting maybe as a sniper, but oh my god, it appears a missile has indeed struck one of the spear jets. The Dominator now diving down on top of the other spear jet. Will he line him up? It looks like he might. He is lining up now, but this, but the spear jet might be able to get, get, get past him quickly enough. But the gunfire reigns in, and it strips off a wing, but the spear jet is still going. It is not dead, but I doubt it will be able to pull out, and it goes into a flat spin and is maybe lit up more before it hits the ground. Maybe not. Well, there we go. <laughs> just destroyed. Had a pretty surgical strike taking off its wing just enough to make it crash. And the Dominators are supreme. This guy was fine by himself, although I think it was the other one who did get the missile kill on the uh, spear jet. So, yes, the F-51 Dominators are the supreme aircraft of this competition. They have won Season 3 of Fighter Jet Showdown, getting through six dogfights against increasingly proficient opponents. So, congratulations to Carl. Uh, this is really amazing. Um, from the first time I saw it, I thought maybe uh, it would... Well, first time I saw it fight, I thought, well, maybe it will be the best, because it is rather brutal. So yes, that is the end of Season 3. I think there probably will be a Season 4 at some point, in maybe like a month or two. Um, so, yeah, keep designing stuff, keep sending it to gamingwithtape at gmail.com. In between, I will be doing normal subscribe designs, and I might do a, um, I might do another thing, like I did World War II Fighter Jet Showdown, just two episodes between this season and the last, so maybe I'll do something like that again, so just, uh, I guess I'll post it on Discord and say it in my subscriber designs, so just the normal episodes if I do decide to do something like that, so... Yeah, keep your ears out, and uh, maybe there'll be some uh, fighting between now and Season 4. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm very happy with how this went. I thought this was uh, really, really, uh, well, really fun. Uh, so yes, like I said, congratulations to Carl, congratulations to Jimmy for getting so far, congratulations to everyone for getting to the finale, because, well, getting here alone is extremely impressive. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.